Affordable, stable, and adequate housing is beyond reach for many in U.S. cities. This is felt particularly among people living in poverty and those enmeshed in the criminal legal system. We see this again and again in our own research with street-based sex workers involved in court-affiliated prostitution diversion programs. Housing is a tremendous hurdle. However, housing in this context has received very limited empirical attention. Our article explores the meanings of housing for cisgender women participating in prostitution diversion programs in Baltimore and Philadelphia. We analyzed data collected through semi-structured interviews and focus groups from 31 participants and 32 criminal legal system professionals at two prostitution diversion programs from 2011 through 2022. Earlier thematic findings revealed housing as a recurring construct noted by both respondent groups. For the current study, we conducted a focused thematic analysis of any excerpt previously coded under housing. Trustworthiness was enhanced through coder triangulation, peer debriefing, and audit trails. We found that housing was often one of the most difficult resources for participants to secure, even with the full weight of the court behind these efforts. The housing that the program participants did find were in neighborhoods where they had to manage the ubiquity of drugs and former clients, and was often substandard, such as the bed bug infested housing where Jerry was lucky enough to be able to live with her infant. My program will put your deposit in your savings bank until you move and you're in somewhere else. And I can't get that out until I go and move somewhere. Well, we expected to find that housing would put program participants at risk for program failure and punishment, including reincarceration, we also found a profound connection between housing and participants' sense of belonging and safety, what we might call a sense of home, with all of the affective associations and feelings that word evokes. Home means not only the four walls, but a source of comfort and joy. My daughter's with me every day from the time she gets home from school till the time she wakes up for school the next day. She sleeps at my grandma's house. There's an air mattress in the living room that me and my daughter sleep on. She's laughing more now that I'm home. Home meant cleanliness, removals from triggers of trauma and drug use, time with loved ones, a chance to contribute, and privacy. Despite the centrality of house and home, PDPs often fail to meet individual participant needs. PDPs prioritize therapeutic interventions that target individual behaviors and attitudes over meeting participants' basic human needs, often placing them in substandard and in substandard housing and removing them from existing networks of support. PDPs' neglect of the quality, type, and meaning of housing reveals and reinforces a fundamental disregard for people in street-based sex work. Uh, as multifaceted, agenic human beings. Programs must prioritize home as a comfort zone that must be afforded to all people as central to housing challenging needs, addressing housing challenges.